So after I finish a little bit of this and some food, I'm gonna try the ibuki. Hey Tomodachi, welcome back to the Tokyo Show with your host Nicholas Pettis. Did you guys know that in a population of 9.2 million here in Tokyo, that since they changed the law on the minimum amount of alcohol that you have to produce as a microbrewery in 1994, um, there are now over 400 microbreweries in Japan and 200 of them should be located in this Tokyo region area. That's nuts. That's a lot of beer. Uh, if you know me and you know the show, you also know that I love beer. Anyway, I'm gonna go on and meet my friend at Spring Valley Microbrewery in Daikama tonight and also the girlfriend. So Brian is gonna be there and he's a former bartender so he probably got some really cool knowledge about the beer. Anyway, what they say about this specific flagship beer that is done in the Spring Valley Brewery, it's called a 496. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, let me just read up on that for you guys. Mm-hmm. It has an ale mellowness. Uh-huh. Lager's crispiness and IPA's rich hoppiness. <laughs> Enjoy the ultimate balance of sweetness, tartness, and bitterness with a deep aftertaste. Hmm. That's really, really cool, actually. Uh, when I read that, I was like, I really need to go there. And so we're meeting up tonight. But you know what I was thinking? I was thinking maybe we could do something I normally never do. We could take the Yamanote line. Whoa. Really, you could take a train? Of course you can take a train. I obviously be drinking alcohol, so I should probably take a train. But think about it. I have not been on the Yamanote line in like way, 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 way long time. I drive a car or a bicycle and that's about it. Um, I used to ride a motorcycle, but now that's also done. Um, but yeah, let's go and see. You know, I have my mask ready and everything. I got my Reebok. Cool branded mask, actually. So we're gonna do some clandestine work here today and see if we can get on that Yamanote line. And Okay, well, let's get this on the road, guys. So Tomodachi, I know I said I was gonna take the train. Yes, I get it, but to get from my house to the train station is actually really complicated. And it's starting to get cold here in Japan now, so I just I'm gonna take a quick taxi. It's really cheap. So after I get to the train station, I'll start filming again. Sorry about it, but these taxis are fantastic. You remember when we talked about that last time? Yeah, they're so big and nice and flat and open. So easy to get inside. They're almost like the taxis in London, what you would call a taxi cab, I guess. Anyway, let's get to the So first things first, let's get up into the actual Shinagawa station. Yeah. yeah, this is pretty much what I expected. I have not been on the Yamanoka line for a while, but just like the escalator going up to the train station is actually completely packed. Whoa! That train just came in fast. Did you guys know that the train from the Omnoti line actually arrives every two to three minutes? And it's pretty much never late. When it's late, it just completely shuts down. And hey, pretty cool, eh? This is actually my train. So I think it's polite to stand in line and let people out first. You can let people out first and then you can just go in yourself after. Wow, it's pretty hectic. I'm just saying. This is Japan right now. Tokyo is in the middle of the evening. Okay. Now the train line is telling us that they're actually shutting down the doors. And so that means that we uh, got to hurry in. But it's okay. Not so bad, actually. I feel actually like pretty socially distanced actually right now. That's pretty cool. Not so bad at all. Actually, the stations are pretty empty compared to what I expected. I mean, you saw the footage at the beginning of the video. Oh my gosh. No offense, but this is like how electronic everything has become in Japan. I actually bought a physical ticket and I can't get, I can't use it to get out here. So that means that I only have a couple of options and they're over here. Ugh, I need to up my game here. Check this out. Boing. And we're through. They got something here called the Pasmo or the Suica, which is like a rechargeable thing that you can just have on your phone. It, it's like an app that you can have on your phone. And when it touches the thing, it goes Bluetooth. And then it just like automatically ducks from your account. That's pretty cool, actually. For this part of the trip, I'm actually gonna use Google Maps. Why not? You can just uh, follow the uh, instructions and get there. So this is actually every station. It's pretty cool at night. Uh, if you're ever in trouble and you need to ask something, you should just go to the Japanese Koban. 
That's a coal barn right there. It is a police station with a couple of cops that are super friendly. And most of the time they actually also speak English. If you want some cool facts about ABC, well, one of the facts is that just over here on the corner, there's a bar called What the Dickens. <laughs> oh, that's such a bizarre name for a bar, but it's actually a really cool place. It's an Irish pub, I think, either British or Irish, and they actually have live music on the weekends. Uh, the only downside is I think they close at 12 o'clock at night, but because that's when the last trains kind of leave, kind of leave in Japan and Tokyo. So if you want to get back up on the Yamanote line, then uh, 12 o'clock to get kicked out is kind of cool, because then you can sort of make it home. And remember, the mission was to try out their signature craft beer, which was the 496. Oh, and then there was that secret beer that I was waiting to get to tell you guys about. Yeah, so that's a seasonal craft beer that I think is going to be really cool, actually. Website. Oh, yes. I see the barrels. Check this out. Wow. So it's all Christmas up. It's got lights all over it. It looks really, really cool. Um, I think we're just going to go inside. Oh, hey, my tomodachi will Thank you. Oh, what a beautiful place. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we're in an incredible place. This is the micro beer brewery called Spring Valley. Wow, you can actually see the beer in there. Oh, how cool is that? Mmm, and that's actually my friend Brian sitting over there. He hasn't noticed that I have come in yet. You think maybe we can surprise them? Yeah, so he's having a serious conversation with my girlfriend apparently. I don't think they've even ordered yet. Oh, this is not creepy at all. This is not creepy at all, right? Wow. So, hey, Tomodachis, I think you're on the show now. Hi, girlfriend. Hi. How are you? You can have a beer? Yeah? The, the 496 signature beer from the Spring Valley Brewery, which you're going to teach us about today, Tomodachi? We're going to talk a little bit about that beer today, yes. Oh, my God. Your head is so shiny. I don't know what to do on the camera here. Ooh. <laughs> Hi. What is your experience about the beer, honey? <laughs> I said, I know that there's a thing called pop in certain beer. Yeah. And Brian laughed at me. <laughs> well, did you order a beer already? Yes, he did. Did you get the ninth? No. Four nine six? We got that one for you. Yes. She's got the Copeland. Oh, nice. One of my personal favorites. Yeah. And then I'm trying this uh, should be a first crossing. Ah, oh, it's a beer called Shibuya First Crossing. That's like the scramble crossing, which is the busiest crossing in the world. Because it's so unique to this area, like the beer is Wow, that's incredible history on beer. Brian, you're like an encyclopedia. But what is an IPA actually? So, great question. So IPA actually comes from India Pale. So India pale, pale ales are more type of pale versions of pale that you get a pale color from the way that you do the special roasting of the barley before you use it for the beer. Mm. You use this process where you do a special roasting of peat that creates this coke smoke and basically it gives it, when you add it to the beer, it gives it a much lighter color as opposed to a darker amber color. Okay. Remember, the story for us guys was to come and get the what was it? The 496? Yeah, the 496. Now let's go over this one more time. Kind of pervaded out This started. Mm. They, they were first famous from the US. Right? Great so aftertaste. They were like there's a distinctive like flavor from the IPA that is so good actually. And you know that this is what I like. Now I'm gonna tell you about the next beer that I wanna introduce you to. So it's a seasonal beer called the Ibuki. Now Ibuki means I have actually researched this. So in karate, we have something called ibuki where we actually take a deep breath and we breathe out properly. Now, the actual meaning for the word ibuki was, is, not was, is beautiful or brave breath. <laughs> Which I find absolutely amazing. And apparently, this beer, the hops that they used for it were like the hops that were voted the best hops in 2019. So it's a specific hops grown somewhere in Iwateken, uh, north part of Tokyo, uh, not Tokyo, Japan. And um, they use these specific hops to make this specific seasonal beer that you can only get now. So after I finish a little bit of this and some food, I'm going to try the Ibuki. Oh. Whoa. 
This is salmon slice. It's way out of focus. That's what it goes. Mmm. Smoked salmon. Beautiful. Shimasen. Oh, by the way, that's how you call for help over here when you want to make the next order. This time is really yummy. Ano, ibuki ga hoshi. Yeah. Can I have an ibuki? The biggest one, of course. Ichimoki. Yeah. That the name is like brave breath. How would you not want to get the biggest brave breath you could ever think about? So, tomodachis, I think this is it. Oh, thank you very much. This is the ibuki beer. Yes, from Iwate. From Iwate, that is. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Do you want to practice ibuki? Oh. Nope, probably not. Oh, is it okay to say goddamn on YouTube? Because that's goddamn good. Wow, that's actually whoa, that's actually better than the um, four nine six. Sorry. Fourteen beers. Mmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. So anyway, Tomalachi, I think we're gonna do like a quick Japanese lesson here in how do you say a beer is very tasty? Sip of your beautiful beer and tell me how good it is in Japanese. So would you please take a sip of your beer and tell me how good it is in Japanese? This is our lesson in Japanese for all of us watching all over the world, the fans. Mine. Hmm, interesting. Brian and the girl friend Angela are pretty funny when they do that stuff, right? <laughs> They're both bilingual, so they know that you, as a man, would normally say, Mike! And you've seen that comment before on the Ryotaro's Japan the show with me where I'm up in Akiyu. Anyway, uh, normally ladies would say, Oishi, which means beautiful. So I'm gonna do the ladies' version first because it's what they call in Japanese, kawaii. Ah, oishi. And then as a man, look at this, I need a man's glass for that one. What? So that was the last one. Um, I need to get back to this party because uh, you know I can't just film all night with you guys. I would love to, but this is it. If you like what you see and you see what you like, why don't you head subscribe to the channel, set that reminder. This was the 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 the, the Tokyo Show with some beer talks.